my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm back today with another quick farm market tip. Before we get started, make sure you click that subscribe button below. You can also click those thumbs up. And today I have a special guest with me. My husband Anthony, Farmer Anthony, is going to talk a little bit about how to choose a ripe tomato either in your garden or at your local farmer's market. about Jersey. Jersey's pretty famous for its Jersey tomatoes and there's nothing like a Jersey tomato. Right Anthony? That's correct. That is correct. So um, I wanted to share a few farmers market tips with you so when you head out to your local farmers market you know what to look for in a tomato and Anthony's going to share a few tips with you about what to look for um, when um, planting tomatoes in your garden and how you know when they're ready to be picked. All right, so tip number one, don't squeeze the tomatoes. Um, you can tell, obviously, by looking at this that it's a pretty ripe tomato. Um, you can pick it up, but when you squeeze it, or any other type of fruit, it actually damages the tomato. So that um, makes it harder for us to sell, and then we have to sell them as seconds because they'll get really mushy. So tip number one, don't squeeze the tomatoes. Do you have any other tips to share no, to add I, to that? No, it's just the, the don't squeeze the tomatoes is simply don't abuse the produce um, because yeah. like Melissa said, it's when like you- like gold. When you, when you- Look at that. When you squeeze them and handle them and you're, you're dealing with a product and piece of fruit that someone else is, is going to buy. And uh, I, I always get a kick out of people that, um, you know, they're all into organic and they're all into, um, you know, green this and green that. And then they come in and they rip the tomato, you know, uh, table all apart. And, so just respect. Just respect the, respect the fruit. Respect the fruit. Respect it. That's it. Isn't that a commercial? I think that's a commercial. Okay, tip number two. Don't refrigerate your tomatoes. And why don't we refrigerate tomatoes? They just don't like it. <laughs> exactly, they don't like it. <laughs> so keep them on your counter. I have a little bin over there in the corner where I keep all our fresh tomatoes um, and they if last you, if a you lot do, better. If you do have to refrigerate them or feel that you want to refrigerate them, 50, 55 degrees is, is, is obviously the optimum temperature. Yes. So we would just consider that a cold refrigerated room. And does it slow down the ripening process if you refrigerate them? It does. Yeah, yeah. so your tomatoes will not look like this if you put them in your vegetable bin. So And you want your tomatoes to be red, not orange. Right. So yeah. You want a good eaten tomato that'll be red. A good Jersey fresh tomato. Yeah. So yes. Do not discard the other ones off your sandwiches and <laughs> when you get them because they're not worth it. They're not as good, yes. They're not as good. So yes, don't refrigerate your tomatoes. And tip number three is um, if you meal plan or you are heading out to your local farmer's market, which we hope you are, because we thank you for supporting local agriculture, um, just choose your tomatoes in the way you're gonna be eating them. If you're gonna go right home and uh, make a nice tomato sandwich, then obviously you would wanna choose something very ripe like this. Um, if you're meal planning and you need tomatoes for later in the week, you would probably want to pick something more on the pinker side or more on the less ripe side and then let it sit out on your can or not in your refrigerator until you're ready to, um, until you're ready to use it. Anything else to add to that, sir? No, just, um, like Melissa was saying, if you're, if, or even if you're building something, a salad or, you know, uh, trying to plan a day or two down the road, pick something with, a little bit a little firmer, right? right. Yeah. A little firmer, yeah. a little. You can tell, like this. Whoop, the dog. You can tell this tomato is um, just by looking at it. I don't have to squeeze it, but it's pretty firm and it's ready to eat. And yeah. actually, the, the the ones that are, um, you know, they don't have to be perfect looking to yeah. be the best tasting. Sometimes the most funniest shaped tomato. And I actually. 
actually like um, the smaller ones that we pick. That when we pick them in the fields, the smaller ones um, are actually a little bit better. They usually get a little bit riper. So those are my three farmers market tips about how to choose the best tomato. All right. So hit us with your best farming tips on how to choose a red tomato in your garden. On how to choose one? It's got to be red, right? <laughs> well, again, plan on what you want to do with it. If you want to eat it, you know, plant it, you know, the, the riper ones, the redder ones you're going to eat same day or next day. And then if you want to, if you're going away for the weekend and you want to pick some, you think it's, you know, if the weather's hot and sunny, you want to pick them in, on the pink side so that they don't get too ripe for when you come back. You know, obviously people are going away, that's an issue. If you pick a green tomato, will it ripen? If it has gel in it, if it's, if it's white, if it's white. Yeah, well, so it's gotta have the, yeah, it's gotta have. So you can white. make fried green tomatoes, yeah. but sometimes those green tomatoes will ripen. Yeah. You but can, don't put them in the refrigerator. You can wrap them in newspaper or help the, you know, old school says that. Or a brown paper them. bag? Yeah. A brown paper bag would work too. Anything okay. else? Don't water your tomatoes too much. Yeah, tomatoes do not like a lot of water, so. They like it dry. Don't water, they like it dry. The roots go down. Water them, water them at the roots, not over top. How often Cuts do you? Down on fungus. How often do you recommend fertilizing? Uh, every two, three weeks. Every two to three weeks. Any just, specific kind of fertilizer? Yeah, just basic mm -hmm. stuff. I do like a little calcium. Okay. So just that's tips from the pro right there. Yeah, just uh, and again, they don't like it too wet. No. Try to keep the fruit off the ground. Stake them or tie them. Or you can, you know, people build all kinds of different kind of trellises. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining You're me, welcome. sir. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> thanks, guys. See, yeah, I have an echo. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this week's Farmer's Market Tip along with our special guest today. Make sure you click that subscribe button below and you can give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, my name is Melissa and I am from thefarmgirlgas.com.